Uh, hey everyone, my name is Nicola. I work at V7. And today I just want to put something on your radar. And that's that you can do game dev, at least as a hobby, in Elixir. And uh, during that, I want to talk a bit about like, something called Entity Component System. So uh, note the dashes. It's not a system of entities and components. It's entity dash component that system. So it's basically a framework pattern architecture, I don't know how you want to call it, uh, that consists of entities, components, and systems. So in this pattern, entity is just an ID. So UID, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a component is just data. So anything in the game that you would need to manage some state would be a component, such as position, velocity, uh, poison damage, whatever. Uh, and then a system is a thing that takes entities uh, or entities that have a specific set of components and runs logic on them, updating the data. So basically a movement system would grab entities with position and velocity and update the position based on velocity and that would be your new component data, right? And then you have a new state and you just render it. And this is what that would look like in a snake implementation in Elixir. So pure logic, the state is just a nested map of IDs and component IDs and data. You run these systems in a pipe, you get the new state out, and you render it somehow. So here's a demo of rendering that in live view. We have snake. Let me just, do we have audio on the presentation? We do have something. There we go. It's snake. I died immediately, but trust me, you can eat the food and it works. Uh, I, this is rendering it in live view using two hooks. One is a hook that renders the graphics using Pixie.js, and another is a hook that renders the audio using Howler. Uh, I, it's a bit too much JS for some, so I tried to run an experiment to do it a bit more simply, or with less JS. So this one renders using SVG. So we still have uh, the same audio. I'm going to try to actually eat some food here. So it speeds up and all that. We can die now, I guess. Uh, so this one, in this case, there's no JS for rendering the graphics, just SVG being outputted as like HTML syntax using the live view. We still use Howler for the rendering, so for the audio. Uh, I think, in theory, I didn't try this, you could, in theory, render an audio tag with autoplay on to do the audio. I don't think that's necessarily practical, but it can work. Um, but yeah, you can do game dev in Elixir with LiveView. Um, should we do that? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not efficient, right? Uh, there's input lag and all that. Maybe like with the Atom VM this morning and potentially running LiveView on the client, maybe that's going to be a thing. We'll see. Um, it's good for multiplayer, I guess, because you have like single managed state and all that. But there is another option. So you can do OpenGL uh, in Elixir via Erlang. You can do window management uh, via VX. And you can do audio via membrane. So hold on. I didn't do the advanced graphics here yet. But yeah, it works. You can do OpenGL in Elixir. So no excuse not to do that hobby game you wanted anymore. There we go. Thank you.